In this lecture, we're going to talk about the Virtual DOM. Learning about the Virtual DOM is mostly theory. It's something that's handled for you by Vue. You don't have to worry about it much, but you will hear about it the longer you use Vue. So, it's good to know what it is and why Vue implements a Virtual DOM. First, we need to understand what the word Compile means. To put it simply, to compile something means to take something in and turn it into something else. In the programming world, it usually means to take in your code and convert it into other code so that another program can understand it. One example is the JavaScript language. Machines don't understand the JavaScript language. You need to run it through a compiler that will convert it into machine code. The browser handles that process for you whenever you load a JavaScript file. Vue does something similar. That begs the question, what is Vue compiling? Why does it need to compile anything in the first place? To answer the first question, Vue is compiling our templates. When we use the mount method, Vue will scan the contents of the original template. This includes the expressions, directives, bindings, and anything else inside of the template. It will take it in as a string and convert it into an object. Here is a basic example. On the left, we have an H1 tag with some content inside of it. On the right is what it gets compiled to. It gets compiled into an object. The object will contain the tag name, attributes, and content inside the element. Let's take it a step further. A step up from this would be nested elements. In this example, the template has an additional span tag surrounding the text. Everything is the same on the right except for the content property. Instead of a string, Vue will store the content as an array of objects. Each object represents a child element in the parent element. In this instance, we have one object which contains the same properties as before. To summarize, Vue is compiling our template. It converts it from a string of HTML to a JavaScript object. That leads us to the next question. Why does Vue compile our templates? The two main reasons are that it's easier to manage, and it provides a performance boost, especially for larger applications. Let me explain more. Firstly, you should be familiar with the concept of a DOM. DOM stands for Document Object Model. If you learn JavaScript in the browser, you will be provided with an object called the document. Through this object, you can retrieve elements on the page or make changes. In this example, I'm selecting an element by its ID. Then, I'm changing the inner HTML of that element. This process is the fastest way to update the document. Actually, it's the only way you can update the document. Make no mistake, the DOM is pretty darn quick. The problem with this approach is it can significantly slow down your application the more elements you have. Imagine a scenario where we are listing users. We are rendering the list of names onto the page using paragraph tags. Simple enough, right? Well, what if you remove a name from the data? In that case, you would have to scan each individual element. If an element is using the data, you should delete it from the document. You would also have to check for their attributes and children as well. Performing an operation like this would be rather expensive. You would have to continually check each element using the DOM functions like getElementById or QuerySelector. These functions return properties and methods you wouldn't need to check. That creates a lot more overhead the more elements you have. Going through the DOM and comparing values is costly. That's only the first part of the operation. After you've performed comparisons, you need to update the DOM. This includes adding or removing elements. An alternative to this would be to just render the entire template without having to check each element. But that's also inefficient. Repainting a page is costly, especially if you have an application that's working with data constantly. Rather than replacing the whole template, it's smarter to update the elements and attributes that need to be changed. Alright, so how is the Virtual DOM any more efficient? The Virtual DOM is a lightweight copy of the actual DOM. It doesn't have as many properties or methods as the original DOM, but that's okay. Its purpose is not to replace the DOM. By having a lightweight copy, the process of checking each element is much faster. Once it's finished, it'll perform what's called a patch. 
Patching is the term used to refer to the process of updating, adding, or removing elements from the page. This includes the attributes or content of an element. View will only update what's necessary. It won't update the whole template. If the text inside an element changes, then that's what will be changed. The entire element won't be overwritten. It does this process in bulk. If multiple changes need to happen, View will apply it all at once. This way changes are smoother. Overall, the virtual DOM is an extra step in the process, but it's more efficient and faster. It scales incredibly well. You can have thousands of elements on the page. View will be able to handle the document without a problem. I'm presenting a simple example. Can you imagine an application with hundreds of elements and attributes? The traditional way of doing things would result in a slow app. The virtual DOM is optimized to handle large data efficiently. One of the most exciting things about the virtual DOM is that it's unnecessary to add classes or IDs to an element. I'm not sure if you noticed, but we didn't have to worry about adding classes to our elements to select them. View knows precisely where to update the template without using classes or IDs. That kept our code reasonably minimal. Of course, you would still use classes for adding styles to an element. It's just that it's not required to add classes or IDs for selecting an element. This also keeps things minimal in the JavaScript file. We didn't have to query for any elements. Instead, we updated the data. From there, Vue took care of updating the DOM for you. I've talked quite a bit about the virtual DOM. Let's recap everything. The virtual DOM is a JavaScript object. It is a lightweight copy of the actual DOM. Whenever a change occurs in your data, the virtual DOM will also get updated. After the virtual DOM is updated with your data, it'll sync itself with the actual DOM. It won't add or remove anything if it doesn't have to. It'll patch certain areas wherever the data is used. As long as you understand that, then you will be good to go. In the next lecture, we'll get back into some coding.